all the devices you see in front of you are connected with only one USB-C connection to my laptop and at the same time this USB-C connection is charging my laptop with 140 watts of power and all this is thanks to the Thunderbolt 5 Fusion Dock Pro 3 docking station from Ivanki. I have two 4K 60Hz screens, external speakers, also an external SSD that is very fast, a keyboard, a mouse, and a webcam. So in this video, I'm going to show you up close the ports and the controls of this docking station. I'm going to also tell you about its specifications and its limitations depending on the port on your laptop that you're going to connect it to and also we'll be testing its speed and also I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So let me start first by showing you what comes in its box. And this is everything you get in the box. We have a very big power adapter that is 180 watts, a power cable, a Thunderbolt 5 USB-C to USB-C cable, some documentation, and the Fusion Dock Pro 3 docking station. Let me tell you now about the ports and the controls of this docking station, and I'm going to also tell you about the specifications of the ports. So this is a power on-off button. This is the Thunderbolt 5 link indicator. This is the power on light. And this is the connection where you connect your PC. This is USB-C Thunderbolt 5. And at the same time, it can charge your laptop to 140 watts. And it has a speed of up to 120 gigabits per second. This USB-C port also is Thunderbolt 5. And also it has a speed of 120 gigabits per second. And you can also connect a monitor on this port. And it can charge your device to up to 60 watts. This is USB-A 10 gigabits per second port and this is SD 4.0 card that has a speed of UHS-2 and this is a 3.5 millimeter jack that is for a headset. So it supports a microphone and speaker combo. On the back of the docking station you have USB-A 5 gigabits per second, 2 USB-A 10 gigabits per second, 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet port and two USB-C ports that are Thunderbolt 5 that have a speed up to 120 gigabits per second and they have a charging capacity of up to 15 watts and these two ports also support two displays up to 8K at 60 Hertz and this is the DC input for the power adapter and on the side you have two Kensington locks now that you saw the ports, let me tell you about the display connection limitations depending on the Thunderbolt version or on the USB 4 version. So if you have a MacBook that is M1, M2, M3 and it is not Pro, you can only connect one display to it. If the version is MacBook Pro, so you can connect dual 4K, dual 6K and so on. And if you have an Apple M4 series, you can connect also up to single 8K 60Hz or dual 4K or 6K also. Now, if you have an older MacBook that is Intel, you can only connect dual 4K 60Hz, which is not bad in my opinion. And if you have a Windows with Thunderbolt 4, you can connect dual 4K, single 6K or single 8K. And if you have a Windows Thunderbolt 5, you can connect whatever you want here. And in my PC that you saw, I have USB 4 that is equivalent to Thunderbolt 4. So I was able to connect two displays that are 4K at 60 Hertz. Let me show you now the display settings after I connected this docking station. You notice that I have four displays and I've put the focus on the fourth display. And see here also the resolution. It is 4K and it is now 4K for three screens that I have. Now, if you want to rearrange the displays in case you have, for instance, a display 4 that is physically on the left so that the mouse movement will be intuitive, you can simply drag the displays like this. And then when you drag them, you can change them like you want to change them. So, for instance, I have the 3 on top of the 4 here for me. I can put it like this. So this way, the mouse will uh, travel freely between the displays. Now I'm going to test the transfer speed from the external SSD that is connected 
with a fast USB-C cable to the docking station. So I have a 26.6 gigabytes file on the SSD that I'm gonna drag to the desktop. And also my desktop is on a very fast SSD. So the SSDs will not be a bottleneck. So let's see the speed of the copy. And it is blazing fast. So it's copying at around one gigabytes per second. And this is like incredibly fast. So the docking station is not hindering the speed of the connection of the USB 4 connection that I have on my PC. And this is very good. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. So I've been using this Thunderbolt 5 docking station for the last two weeks and I find out that it works flawlessly. So what I like about it is that it is very well built, it is very fast and also it doesn't heat up and it has an on off button. Talking about the on off button, this takes me to what I don't like about it. So this on off button takes around five to six seconds to be activated. Also, what I don't like about it is that it lacks, in my opinion, some USB ports. So I would have liked it to have a couple of USB 2.0 ports. So to connect the keyboard and the mouse. And also what I don't like about it is that it is a little bit expensive. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.